So it finally happened. I told you it would happen. I told you what would happen. I told you that they put in too many stipulations on this auction house. And hey, look, I can't be the only one that's not playing the game mode because of these restrictions on the auction house. It's a lot more holding me back from playing the game right now. It's still early in the year. I thought I would get to it early, but I'm not there yet. I'm just not there yet. I'm still in my career. And this is one of the biggest reasons why. Chris Final Status 23 got permanently banned from NBA 2K25 because I tried to buy the only Emerald Mike Brown coach for over 150K MT on a bid. Last card I needed for Diamond Steve Kerr, shaking my head 2K. And he's reaching out to everybody. He's looking at Chris London. Can you help me? Kill him. Kill him. I don't know how to say bro name. Killazoi, Killamazoi, I don't know. Henry the Blazian, Decentric, DBG 2K, 2K Support. Can somebody help? Shiro, my team, can you help this man? This man was trying to get an edge over on the competition and be the first one with the Diamond Steve Kerr card. He needed that di He needed Mike Brown coach in order to lock in for Diamond Steve Kerr. So he was trying to get an edge up on the competition. He got flagged for suspicious. Look, so now what we're saying is that just means that trying to gain a decent edge on the competition and be the first one to have something and to upgrade your team and play the game is suspicious activity. So what 2K is telling me is that playing 2K is suspicious. So it's suspicious just to play the game now, just to want to be the first one with Mike Brown and get him locked in. It's suspicious. It's suspicious that I, I paid an arm and a leg worth of MT for Mike Brown coach card so that I could get this Steve Kerr. You telling me that I was going too big? I don't I would like to know if this card got bid up that high or if I don't know how the card got that high. I think you can go to 100K. You tell me you guys that have been playing my team. You tell me how how high can you place a card for on the on the auction house? He says this was the only Mike Brown that he saw on the auction house. It was there for 150K MT. Is that the bid that he made? Was anybody else bid on it beforehand? Did they look at the bid transactions or do they just have a bot looking at the bid? Do they just have a bot that says, no, this doesn't look right to me? Or do they have a human looking at the bid and looking at how many cards are available? And is there is there some type of criteria to tell them whether or not this is suspicious? Or are they just flagging posts that they just a bot just thinks is suspicious? Let's see what Carlos Story had to say about it. So Chris on Twitter, final status, he said that he got permanently banned from 2K25 because he tried to buy the only Emerald Mike Brown coach for over 150,000 MT. And I'm going to tell you right now, never buy a coach for over like, who's buying a coach for 150K, brother? Like, what are you doing? This is a, we already knew that too. What? What do you mean? Don't buy the, so don't get a leg up on the competition because the, a bot is going to ban me. At this point, I wouldn't even want my account back. That's crazy to me to hear this man say, you already knew that they was going to ban you. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. They said that they're going to ban suspicious activity. How am I supposed to think that the only Mike Brown on the player market or on the, I would like the player market back if this is going to be how it is as we speak. I mean, just because it came up. But how am I supposed to think that this is supposed to be illegitimate activity? The only Mike Brown that I see on the, I'm, I'm, I'm teed up. I'm teed up. How can I hear this man say this? I, I was a fan. I was a fan. Your voice is, yes, a little bit crazy sometimes, but I was a fan. But now I'm thinking I need to hear more of what you're saying because I don't, I just don't get it, buddy. As a system where they're going to flag stuff. And so why are you buying a coach? Now, listen, the reason he did it is because he needed to get a certain card. It's another coach, which again, a coach card, like a player I get, you know, spending over a hundred K. For a player, you got to do what you got to do. LeBron James right now, super expensive, right? Uh, it don't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. A player or a coach or whatever. He's trying to get a coach in order to get another coach. Or is, is Steve Kerr a coach or a player card? Was it a coach card, player card? Either way, he's trying to he's trying to get Mike Brown off the player market, off the off the auction house, which should be legit. He's not. It doesn't look like he bought any MT. How are you buying MT? If you're buying MT for the first anyway, if you're buying MT anyway, you're selling a card. So they must have thought he was selling MT. So he so 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 they thought the bot thought that somebody bought one hundred and fifty thousand worth of MT from him. I get it. I get it. I see now. But this is a flaw in the system. I told you that this would be a flaw in the system right off the top. 
off the top before anything even went before before we passed go before we tried to collect two hundred dollars i told you oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this would be a problem this would be a very big problem and that somebody would get banned for no reason for trying to get a leg up in the game he's trying to be the first one out here with something he's trying to do something big and i mean look at look what happened look what happens all that means is that NBA 2K still controls the auction house. It's what, and that's what they wanted from the first place. Yeah, they made it sound like it's about buying and selling MT. Look, they can care less about buying and selling MT. What they want to do is control the market. And that is not how anything works. I mean, okay, it's corrupt. It's how things work, but it's corruption. This is major corruption in the, look, I have to call a spade a spade. I don't care who doesn't like it. But I mean, come on, like, look what this man, he goes on to say, I agree. It makes sense. 150 K is crazy, dog. That sounds like a lot of sarcasm. I agree though. But imagine Diamond Steve Kerr on the auction house. He would be over that price. Even with past 2K games, the gate kept cards that shouldn't have been super expensive were super expensive. I was willing to spend that much or more because I wanted this coach card. He wanted to have the best coach. He didn't deserve to be banned. This kid does not deserve to be banned from the game. This man, whoever this is, does not deserve to be banned from the game. But because they want to control the auction house, they wanted to. That's why we had that's why we had the player market last year. They want to control the market so bad that they're willing to sacrifice players and the community. They're willing to sacrifice their own players for the sake of them controlling everything and making sure that prices don't go above what they want. Now, what does this mean? Well, it's going to trickle down. This means that they saw this man get banned for trying to buy a hundred and fifty thousand dollar card that they that the that two K. Damn! I, why did I, why did I do that? I had that spread out, man. I had to spread it out, bro. The community saw this man get banned for trying to buy a hundred and fifty K card. That's going to show the community that two K doesn't want them buying cards. This card are cards like this for one hundred and fifty K MT. That's all it's going to show. So the prices are going to come down on a lot of these cards. It means that not only are they stopping the people that are selling MT illegitimately, but they're also putting a crimp in the situation for people that are legitimately selling cards on the market. They're controlling the buys and the sales by influence. This type of influence is not warranted. There is no reason for this. I could rant for days, but I'm not about to. Okay, maybe I am. Look, I don't like it. I don't think I'm going to be playing this game mode. I don't think this is fair to anybody that plays this game mode. And I will be seriously, I will be seriously upset if I put in, if I put $300 into my account, if I put $500 into my account over the next few months or how much ever time. And I put hours upon hours upon hours into this game. And then you snatch my account because you feel like my transactions on your market are illegitimate. It's not going to happen. This is where I draw the line. Personally, I am a big fan of my team, but this is not, this is not what I'm, I'm not rocking with this. I'm not going, I will not go. And I feel like this is the time that we all need to band together and put a foot down and say that you're not going to control the market. You're not going to snatch our accounts, but I know that's not going to happen. We're not going to band together because this community doesn't do that. What we're going to do is we're going to all run our mouths, talk a whole lot of hoopla, a whole lot of this and that and who shot John and whatever else. And then everything's just going to go on as normal and something's going to happen down the line. We're going to talk about it again. That's just what's going to happen. That's what I'm used to personally with the 2K community. And quiet is kept. It's just the way things go. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. This was a good take right here from this guy, uh, Christopher Staines. 2K just needs to add price ranges like EA did. This will be a complete non-issue. And then this other take here, uh, this is this is the issue with 2K trying to monitor car prices. That's exactly what I was just saying. This is the issue with 2K trying to monitor car prices. Prices. Some cards are expensive because they're good. They're, are, some cards are not expensive because they're good. They're expensive because of what they can do or get you. And guess what, 2K? That's fine. That's called the free market. That is exactly what the auction house should be. That is exactly what I have been saying for the whole video. I have been saying that they're trying to control the market. They are controlling the market. 
And that's just not, that's not what America was built on. This is the land of the free, the home of the brave. This is what we're supposed to, we're supposed to be. I just don't get it. Whoever's in charge, please. I am begging you, please take your foot off of our neck. We will not keep playing this game like this. You'll okay. They'll keep playing the game. I'm, I'm lying. They will keep playing the game at this point in the game though. I'm not willing to put my hard work on the line for you to snatch it away. This is the bigger issue that I am not, I'm not going to be subjected to this type of debauchery. See, 2K needs to take supply into account. If I need a card to finish a collection, of course I'll overpay. Cowboys better be all in is exactly right. It's supply and demand. And what you have done is overlook supply and demand because you have your foot on the necks of the community trying to control what we pay and what we spend and what we, and how much we can collect at one time. And buddy right here, King Hunter says they did you a favor. Um, I mean, at this point, it's still early in the year. So yeah, maybe they did do him a favor. Maybe they did do him a favor before he put all his time and all his money into this game. Buddy right here, Coolio Greedy says, dang, I listed mine for 40 K. Didn't know how much it was worth. Somebody bought it. And after an error, he got an error that popped up and they sent the card back to him. I mean, OK, I hey, look. Wait, and then what is this one? How did you get 50, 150 K MT? You open packs and sold cards on the auction house. You probably would not get banned. Maybe you bought that 150. Come on, buddy. Are you serious? How did you get 150K MT? Are you serious? Are you serious? This, I'm not, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. Ronnie, somebody, Mike, somebody has to, somebody has to do something. Somebody has to do something in this situation because this is, this is crazy. This is filthy work. I mean, it, this is dirty work. Bottom line, this is filthy. Y'all got to get this right. Let's chime in and hear what Ty Debo has to say about it. Let's see what he's talking about. For one. I didn't even know Diamond Steve Kerr was available. Like that's that's True. the first of many things I want to talk about. Like from my side of things, like I, I again, I didn't even know that was a thing. But obviously, right. if Emerald Mike Brown was your last card for Diamond Steve Kerr, a guy like me would wait and be patient. I'm never gonna spend 100. I feel that. Okay, that's a take. I didn't. That's a take that I didn't. I didn't cater to. I I understand that. Patience is actually a virtue. 50,000 coins on a, on a coach. But we got to realize some people would. Some people aren't like me. Some people don't value MT that much. Some people love to spend money on the game. These are as long facts. as they have the best team in the game, they don't really care. And I'm guessing for Chris, that's kind of exactly what happened. Like, he wants the best team in the game. He doesn't right. care about MT. Right. He's probably got plenty of it. And, um, and yeah, he got permanently banned for buying a coach an emerald coach for 150,000 coins. Now, look, from 2K side of things, honestly, I get why this looks bad and looks like suspicious stuff like this. I do. I don't. I don't see why this looks so suspicious. But this kind of has to be researched. Again, if you're going to ban people permanently, you've got to have indisputable evidence that right. it is for sure buying MT. And I think they need to okay. research both accounts, what accounts, what the accounts look like. And, and, and all of those things. I just I do under, hey, I, I 100% agree with you on that one. I do 100% agree with that. If this is going to be the way things are going, there has to be an audit. There has to be a legit audit. These both accounts involved in the buy and sell that looks suspicious must be audited 100%, thoroughly audited from top to bottom in order to solidify whether or not it is a fraudulent transaction or not. This does not look like a fraudulent transaction to me. And I do not feel like anyone who was buying or selling MT would come to, to Twitter to ask Chris London and CJ2K and Shiro and Henry the Blasian to help. I don't. I just don't. I just can't. I can't. I, I don't think it should be a, oh, well, well, this card got bought for more than it probably should. And let's ban right. it. Because again, certain people just want the best team in the game right away. They don't care about MT. And they will do anything to get it and spend any amount of money. And that's real. That's IRL as well as in game, any game, any game where I can get a leg up. Somebody is there's somebody out there willing to spend an arm and a leg in order to have the best and be the first with 
You know what I mean? Some people, and then there's some people that just have to show you and everyone else, hey, look, I'm having things over here. I'm having, I got it. Y'all don't got it, I got it. Yahtzee, you know what I'm saying? But either way, I don't feel like, I feel like, I, I feel like 100% Ty is right. There has to be a bigger audit situation going on. This can't be the way that things go. This can't just be the end all beat all. Let's see what your boy Warlow had to say about it. Let's get Warlow into it. Warlow back in a late night video. Y'all going to see this, this early happened, in the AM. Yeah. I just took a shower for the first time. Straight up. This happened yesterday. And I don't want to know about your sour, your shower, sour, shower schedule. You just hopped out though. Good job for you. Just ignore and just walk right past that. Okay. I've been. I, that shit stank, down it? That shit Ugh. stank. I've been, um, I've been, I've been, I've been literally grind. I went down to number six, man. These people be grinding too much, but. Oh my gosh. We gotta discuss this because this is an issue going on right now. And this definitely needs to be discussed. We need to figure this out. As a community to collectively, we need to talk about this on a bigger scale. We need to hold a panel. We need to actually talk with the uh, the, the higher ups in the 2K dev departments or whoever calls the shots on this. We need to speak to we need to collectively come together and have a sit down with them because this has to be fixed. This needs to be fixed immediately. You might be banned. Like, ain't no the, might if you buy this card. So ain't make no sure might. to hit the like. It ain't no might. More people will be banned down the line. And as things get bigger and bigger, if if it happens, it happens. There's not going to be any more. This makes me fearful. There will not be any more million dollar cards. When Yao comes out, there will not be million dollar Yao's. When these bigger cards come out down the line, they're going to scare you guys out of listing these cards and letting these cards get bid up higher and higher and higher. Like subscribe on the road to 12k we hit 11k but yeah, this card could get you banned so we're gonna discuss how this got started so right here if you go to my collection right warlow's trying to walk us through it my chalice people gonna say i said it wrong whatever this set Where? locks in for coaches right for steve kerr the steve kerr right here boosts your three pointer your free throw ball handling three pointer that's a tough little card. We got mid-range plus four. We got three-point plus four. We got free throw, ball handle, and speed attribute plus four. Ends at the end of the game. It's triggered on your first possession of the game. This is a big card right here. This is one that I would want before everybody else, definitely. So are you wondering, what does this Steve Kerr have to do with an issue like on the thumbnail? It's Steve Kerr, Carlo. Well, apparently this Mike Brown card, which a right. few days ago, someone was asking me two days ago, did I have this card? Which I don't. I did not pull this card. And apparently this card is so rare. He's literally so, so rare. Like right. there's only one on the market right now. Supply and demand. you buy this card. Supply and demand is king. It is king. Supply and demand is the key to everything on any open market or right. let's say like someone on twitter actually confirmed it i'll show it in a second but if you okay. buy this card let's say for 38k or 32 or 50 any amount of empty you will be banned and i'm not that's uh, that's what happened joking you will be banned so this is the first thing on twitter which i will show right here on your screen and I got DM also on Twitch as well, but we're, we're going to get right into it. All right, now let's allow Warlow to break it down for us. What happens when your card or transaction is flagged? This match is pepped up. We have identified an unusual activity associated with a recent option transaction. As okay. a precaution, the transaction has been reversed. The auction card and 19 points have been returned to original owner. So it looks like if you post a card, right? Right. And... Right. You post it and sell it. And if they deny it, you just get the card back. So the seller looks safe Makes because sense to based me. on the guy that mentioned earlier, he was not banned. He was able to relist the card, which I hope it doesn't sell because he might be getting banned soon too. How come that can't be enough? Why can't that be enough? How come it has to be, it has to escalate to a ban immediately or as fast as it did? How come this, this notice right here and sending everything back to sender and everybody gets their original, whatever they had going on, buyer and seller, both get 
everything returned back to them. Why can't that be enough? Why ban people? Why even jump with the bans? Why not just do this? If it seems if it seems suspicious and it gets flagged, why not just let this happen and let that be it? Let that be all. I would like I would like answers. I would like answers. And these are some of the questions that I would indeed ask if we had a chance to sit down with with 2K. I mean, honestly, that is that is how I would like to safeguard the integrity of my community, to be honest with you. All right. So, I mean, that's all I have for you right now. I just had to get that out. I had thoughts. I, I ranted on this last night in the voice notes. As soon as I saw the tweet, I saw the tweet like 10 minutes after it was posted. I ranted on it last night and I just had to get this out. I had to get this across because I had so much on my heart, so much on my mind. Love y'all. See y'all later. Be cool. Kobe. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.